Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 14, Football Manager 20, our Union Berlin save. Well, it's not our Union Berlin save, we just happen to be at Union Berlin right now. Of course, this is our journeyman save, climbing the ladder. Uh, so since our last match, we uh, had a 2-0 win over St. Pauli. Christoph Bach with the win uh, goal and Benedict Stein. Uh, Erdingen, a 2-2 draw. Uh, we got the equalizer in the 95th minute. Should have lost. Tried a new tactic. I tried a new old tactic, and, you know, they just weren't vetted in it. And a 6-1 loss, and this was a game we should have won. Nico Schroeder got a goal in the 80th minute. We were already down 6-0. It was, um... We actually had more possession, more shots. It's just all of their shots went in the net. There were there were three set piece goals. There was a goal that went off the keeper, off the upright, back in front of the goal and was tapped in. And there was another ball that was deflected, picked up by the attacker on the on their team, crossed back in. Uh Shot deflected off of one of our players and went in, but they got credit for it. Uh, it, it was just a brutal game. So we went back to our asymmetric. Uh, we beat uh, Augsburg 2-1, which was a big win. They were, they're were they pretty high up in the table. Arturo and then Norbert Roos with the 95th minute goal. And then a 4-1 win over Essen. Tom Hill, Kodorowski, uh, Ruye, and Roos all with goals in that victory. Taking a look at the table, uh, we are still holding on. Slim two-point margin. Uh, we're three up on Ingolstadt, who we play today. And we're two up with a game in hand on Nuremberg. So a win today, and we could start opening up some distance. Today is going to be crucial to us finishing in promotion contention big time big time big time uh one more bit of transfer news uh jan urban the uh, number 10 that is currently playing for is on loan from uh, uh warzawa uh his contract is up at the end of the season and we have made him an offer he has accepted so he will join us uh 22 year old slovakian who made his first cap since last episode and now has two caps for his country uh, at 22 years of age. He's really, really good, man. <laughs> He's really good. So very excited to sign him. Uh, so he will be joining us full time. Don't think there was anything else in the transfers. No, nothing else. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Oh, you know, we have not looked at uh, dynamics or anything recently. So locker room atmosphere is at the high end. Excellent. Leadership support is excellent. Taking a look at the hierarchy. Uh, there we go. We've got three team leaders in Kodorowski, Hill, and Rubio. Low self-belief. Uh, five highly influential players and three influential players. Taking a look, two only two players, Di Pietro and Seavers, with no real opinion. Neither one of those guys have played a lot. But 24 players full of support. So you got to like that. Got to like that. Where is, uh, okay, there's Roach, Zach, Rivera. There he is, our new striker. So I expect some of those guys to start climbing this ladder over time. Let's get into the match, because today is a big day. Big day. Um, Ingolstadt has owned us basically two to one. Yeah, this is this is this is gonna be big. It'd be nice if Mainz would lose to energy today, but I don't think they will. So we're on the road. I'm gonna go back to positive. All right, so Urban Hill. Oh, we also have an offer out to... We brought uh, some guys in on trial. Uh, these were guys that were being let go. And I think we've got an offer out on one of them. 
don't remember who. So we'll, if he accepts, we'll take a look at him for next season. And Arturo, Rubio, Bukowski. Definitely going to let a, a few guys go here in the offseason. Just we're not going to really have a choice. There, are, I don't think any of them are going to be starters. I think they're all going to be, you know, bench players. So, you know, we've got to free up some of that money somewhere. All right, Santana picks up an early injury. Little niggler. Harbon pounces on that ball. And I don't know what the hell he's doing. All right, Hill heads it down. Oh, you had him outside. He was outside, wide open. Somebody make a run out there, please. Ooh, that was close. Oh, good triangle. That was bad. Ruye coming back the wrong direction. No, that was horrible. Over the top. Troy Shear. Did he hit it? Did he hit it? Yes. All right. So we get the goal kick. I have taken the tactic that, you know, we, and I did it last episode. I forgot to mention it, but I have changed those ball playing defenders, the center backs to just straight central defenders. Uh, just don't want them sitting on the ball quite as much as they were. All right, that's a good ball outside. Schroeder. Gilly. Nice ball into Vogler. Oh, he beats his man into the box. Lays it off. And that goal right there. Saw how it went off the one guy and dropped back to Hill. That was like three goals in that 6-1 defeat. Just stupid little goals. We'll take this one. Tenth goal by Hill. But just unlucky bounces. We should have put that one in easily, though. So you guys, oh, my goodness. Wow. He found the angle on that one. So, of course, I saw uh, there were some Premier League games on today. And uh, now this won't be going up till, I think, Wednesday. So the first week will be behind us. But, oh, my God. Show some passion. Another set piece. We go straight to a kickoff highlight, so that's potentially good. <laughs> potentially very bad, like that. Oh, come on. All right, we back him up to midfield. All right, there we go. Put it over the top. Find a through ball. Ruye, way on the other side of the field. Drops it off to Schroeder, making a run. He's in the box. Oh, a little ding-dong, and Tom Hill gets his second of the game, both off of deflections. Schroeder needs to put that in the net by himself, but... Eh, could be worse. Let's demand more. Motivated. Vogler. Deep into the box, but it's headed out. Oh, there we go. Gilly. Plays it out to Roach. Brings it up the wing. Oh, a little cheeky inside heel kick. Gilly looks like he's got a, like a cl club foot. Play it right into the center. Yes, Kodorowski. Tom Hill sets it up nicely. Sets it up on the tee. Kodorowski drills it home. And that gets us up with a 3-2 advantage. All right, we're going to praise now because we've we've come from behind. We've taken the lead. 
Uh, if we could get out of this with three points, it would be insanity. And that's not going to go over well. Roos is gone with a second yellow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, I am going to import that tactic. Kodorowski, anybody else up here that can play? All right, Vogler can come inside. Um, defensive right. All right, I guess. Arturo? No, why did it do that? Can Roach play on the right? He cannot. Well, actually, you know what? Let's undo that then. Because we can bring in Arturo. There we go. Um, Urban, Urban. He can play mid-center. So let's do that. Oh, man, in the waning minutes of the half. All right, I'd say we've dominated, but boy, boy, this is not good. Excellent efforts. All right, defense, passionate. All right. Oh, you know what? Um, I want, we're going to drop down to cautious. And we're going to collapse in on each other here. Let's see what that does. Oh, no, no, no. Offsides. Oh. Good step up there by Stein. Just barely. Wow. Oh, come on. Oh, he got that he got that clearance facing the wrong way. That was interesting. Get the ball out of there, boys. What the hell? Shit. Yeah, we're going to have to go get stuck in, I think. Shit, shit, shit. That. This is not fair, man. <laughs> not fair. All right, um, let's see. So we've made one sub. All right, you for... You're on the mid-center. Let's bring Absalov in for you. And Ruye for Rubio. It's a little early, but I want to get those yellow cards off the field. I, I don't I don't have a choice. I hate making I hate using my third sub that early. But I can't risk. I can't risk the yellow cards on the pitch. And I couldn't. Oh, shit. Oh, this is not going to be good. Harbin with a nice save. All right. Urban. Absalov. Uh, ni nice ball over to Schroeder. Crossed in. There's a header. Oh, that was so close. So close. Concentrate. They're not going to like that, but I want to, they need to concentrate. Let's go to balanced. Tighten up. Oh, 
Oh, they got away from him. No, no. Every single goal that they scored was just, oh, that close. That close. Son of a. Uh, all right, we're going to turn off the offsides trap. Uh, we are going to do more direct passing with a higher tempo. Oh, I had to pause the recording there for just a second. My uh, One of my cats has a uh, hereditary uh, urinary issue where he gets these crystals in his bladder and he clogs up. And it's between three and $800 every time it happens. So that was the vet just calling to let me know he was ready to be picked up. So it was a pretty easy one today. So hopefully not more than a few hundred bucks. Oh, God. All right, so we've made the changes here. Uh, this was kind of a, that was a, like the worst time they could have called me. Oh, well. I don't think there's enough time to do anything. That's brutal. That's brutal. So we're in a three-way tie now. Holding goal differential. That could have been, oh, man. We were up 3-2 after fighting back till Roos got sent off. Yeah, it went a little bit different direction there. All right, well, we will be back here in just a second for Mains, who is coming off a draw. All right, well, we've had our youth intake. Let's take a look at it. So you remember last year where you had this kid, Leonidas Axiotis, and uh, he's been looking really good. So uh, he's going to be in line sooner rather than later uh, to step in to the team. What I'm finding is you can't offer them professional contracts until they're 17. And so they can't play for the parent club until then. So he's stuck with the U19s. So let's take a look at our youth candidates. And we've got some, we've got a, a couple of decent looking players. Marius Buck, uh, a defensive center back, right back. I haven't looked at their stats or anything yet. So, um, yeah, his physicals are okay. Six foot one. He's already pretty solid. So I think in a couple of years, he could be a pretty solid center back for us. He could also play that right side with his crossing ability. So that is a possibility. And not bad as a passer as well. So if that develops a little bit, we could make him into a, a ball-playing defender. That would be a nice option to have. Darden Krasnicki, a 15-year-old winger on the left side. Uh, German. And four-and-a-half star potential. Look at the pace and acceleration. This kid is a burner. Natural fitness, only a 10. He can't jump, and his crossing needs a lot of work. But he's only 15. Uh, we have a young goalkeeper, three and a half star. He needs a lot of work at one-on-ones. But uh, anyway, you know, we've got probably... I think there's eight players that we're going to sign uh, in the in this group of 15 and 16 year olds. So that's good. I mean, you know, it's good to get a couple of decent players. Uh, Hill, our striker, was named uh, League Two Player of the Week, so that's good. We've been tabbed by one of our fellow coaches uh, to win the league this year. I kind of blew that off and said, "Yeah, don't don't get so quick there." But uh, yeah, so oh, that last game was brutal, brutal. We we have got to gain points from this and positive points. I'm talking a win. I don't think anything other than a win does us any good whatsoever. 
All right, we're going to drop this back up to attacking. All right, Abzalov, Schroeder, Kodorowski, Navarro, Navarro, Urban, and Hill. Where is, uh, well, first off, I don't want, I don't want two strikers in there, or two keepers. So, Rye. Well, suspended, suspended. Yeah, let's put, um, oh, yeah, their fitness is way down. Let's go ahead and put Bach in there. He'll, he'll be just like an emergency option. I do want to put, um, yeah, I think I want to put Rivera in there. I know he's just coming off uh, player of the week for the league, but still. He needs to get back in fitness because he should be our regular starter. He being Rivera, our newest uh, acquisition, or one of our new acquisitions. All right, early get creative. All right, some good defensive hitters there. All right, we got that out into space. Bukowski loses it. That's bad. All right, Navarro. Back to Harbin. All right, there's some good ball work. Urban. Outside to Schroeder. Gave it up. Won it again. Blitzes into the box. And an <laughs> Hey, if that's working, y'all keep doing that shit, man. Schroeder comes in and blitzkriegs it into the goal. The keeper makes the save but has to knock it down because of the pace on the ball. And our striker, Hill or Rivera, are there to uh, put it away. That works. That works. Keep at it. Keep at it. Let's give him some praise. Ooh, overwhelmed. Abzalov's like, what? We're German. We don't praise anybody. It's all negative. Negative reinforcement. Is that a stereotype? It's probably a stereotype. All right. Demand more for the final 10 minutes. And see if we can't nurse this lead into the half. All right. Well, nobody got a second yellow card. That's positive. Uh, we're going to go passionate. All right, demand more. All right, Navarro. Ah, uh, tapped away. A uh, little flick on header. Beats our defender. Oh, man, he tried to dink the keeper. Ooh, it went over. <sighs> Thank goodness. Wow, wow. All right, we're going to have a set piece here, boys. Come on, Navarro. Oh, I thought that was going in. Oh, cleared out. And of course, it's right to their player. And he kicked it out of bounds. That was, that was an odd choice of... Uh, it was an odd choice of uh, options to go with. I mean, it was an option. That was interesting. All right, Bukowski. Abzalov. Squared into Urban. All right, you guys need to quit farting around with the ball, guys. I don't know what your deal is. Oh, splits our center backs again. What a save. Let's go look at our... All right. Um, so... 
what's his he's got a 15 passing I wonder is he good at defense and the answer is meh, not really not really drift wide operates in the half spaces so that means he's going to be coming up. I think, I know there's not a lot of talking here, but I'm, I'm thinking, and this is where I screw up because I don't, I'm not, I'm not very good at tactics. And I've told you guys that. I don't think I like him drifting wide because that puts him right in direct competition with Schroeder. So I'm thinking, let's make him a box, well, I'm just going to make him a plain, plain vanilla central midfielder. They're just getting too, too congested right there. And I don't like the fact that we're going to be giving up a, a set piece here. All right, that's headed out. Urban, Urban's got space and nothing happened. All right, um... Let's go ahead and pull Kodorowski off for Pierre Gilly. And Absalov is kind of stinking up the joint. Let's put uh, let's put Roach on for him. Can we demand more? All right, Navarro. Oh, take him down in the box. Hello, Schroeder. He may have drawn the foul. Are they going to give it? And Or is it against Schroeder? Reviewing the footage. Come on. A penalty. All right, who's going to take it? It is going to be... Survey says Arturo, our center back. God, he's good at penalties. And you remember we had, we we sold that that previous center back, and he was our penalty taker as well. That's insane. Eight goals on the season for Arturo, and I'm pretty sure all of them are from the spot. All right, Vogler into the box. That was an easy one for the keeper. Limbach. And I guess let's go ahead and put uh, let's put Bach on the wing. At least that gives us a goal cushion. If they find one like right there, oh my. Well, that was a little easier than I had hoped. He went the right way, just couldn't get it. First goal of the season for Miguel Jose. That does not sound German. Just saying. Now I need to know. Portuguese. That makes sense. Come on, blow the whistle. Thank you. Two to one. We will take that. All right. And Ingolstadt. Oh, Ingolstadt's got uh, a game in hand here. That's cool. All right. Excellent efforts. Continue. Let's finish the day. See if they played out today. I don't know. I don't know if they played today or not. Could be they play on Sunday. Could be. Could be. Come on. Yeah, they. so they've got a game in hand. All right, Kodorowski is suspended. All right, we are top of the league. Two points over Nuremberg. Ingolstadt with a game in hand, as does Augsburg. So they, well, they don't have to play each other, I suppose. Who do they play next? 
schedule senior squad Essen on the 10th. So yeah, tomorrow. Oh, well. So I think, I think we come home for the final two guys. There's really nobody else in the mix. We've got, we've got a pretty, you know, we've, we've got a, you know, on paper, it's a pretty easy run in. All these teams are down in the area, mid table or lower where we're supposed to be. So you know, I'm not going to lose sleep over that. But we've got three matches. We'll come back. We'll come back for Berliner and Dynamo Dresden and see if we can't gain automatic promotion. So I hope you guys are excited for next episode. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.